Hello and welcome to another episode of Miners of the Nexus. Oh, hello there. I'm here with big-headed Bardock James. Uh, <laughs> germs. <laughs> germs. Bardock Germs. Um, there's been quite a little mess up. Let's yep. be honest here. I was recording and for some reason Fraps decided not to record my voice. So we've had to start all over again. Now we've had some of it done, so we haven't taken it off, but we'll be showing you. We're doing Mount Nexmore, Nexusmore, or whatever we called it. It's basically Mount Rushmore, but with our heads on it. And we've done Bardock Jones's head. We've done beautiful. Rastral's head, even more beautiful. And we're doing Tapion's head currently. And let's working get on with Tapion's head. Yeah, working on it now before I realized I wasn't recording my sound. It's a good thing I checked. Because if not, we would have done everything. We still need Dengonzo's and Double F's head. And we wouldn't have any sound at the very end of it. So at least we can save a bit of this episode. Yep, yep. So this is... Um, we're using a program called Minecraft Skin Viewer. Um, and what it does is you can load any skin you want. You write down the name of the person you want to copy, and and you can you, it loads it up so you can actually replicate me if you want on your game, because that's something everybody would want to do. Yep. At some point. So uh, get on it. Paradox gems of the very own. Yep. So get on it right now. And show us your screenshots. Yeah, if you build uh, Bardock Gems, make sure to to show us your screenshots. I'll put it on Twitter. Obviously, you have to you have to get my handsome side. Don't want any of those ugly uh, sides, which yeah. is going to be a bit hard because all you have is ugly. No, no, it's going to be pretty easy, straightforward. Somebody's screaming outside. They've been screaming all afternoon. Can what's you hear them? Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. Halloween. The Halloween spirit is still in the air. Even though Halloween hasn't happened as we're recording this, but Ooh. just not to confuse you guys. Yes. Although I've already gone ahead and done so. It's not Halloween yet. It's 29th of October. Which is another reason why why we're doing this in this episode, because we're still finishing off the Halloween special, which you would have already seen by now. Hope you like that. Yep. And it's hard when it's two of us only, so we haven't had much time to plan... Um, this build, today's build. So we had this idea, Dengonzo had the idea actually. Last oh, episode. No, no, I, didn't. I did. You did? Oh, I thought it was Dengonzo. Then you did, you had this idea. And we've just gone with it. It's a quick build. It won't take too much time as we have to get back to the, the other stuff. The Halloween special stuff. Which you have already seen. Exactly. Just, just not to confuse things. It's like we're living in a time warp. Yep. Well, I think that's Tapion done there. Yeah, that's Tapion. That clearly is Tapion. Now we need to do Dengonzo. We've been doing them in the order of appearance in our Miners of the Nexus episodes. So first it was Germs and I, and then Tapion joined the crew. C -c -c crew. And now C -c -c Dengonzo C -c was the next one to, to join the Miners. So his ugly head next. I think we're going to have to get rid of this spike here, though. We've taken care of that little spike we had here. And now we'll be building Tengonzo's face on this side of the wall. I don't know if I mentioned this, because now I'm confused. Did we say it was 8x8? Eight eight? No, I don't think so. Was that when I wasn't recording? Oh, I think you did record it, actually. We recorded... No, did we? I don't remember. I'm totally confused no, no. now. No, 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 no. We didn't, because we already had half of that beyond done. Okay, so it's 8x8. Eight eight. The heads are 8x8. Eight eight. And that's what we're doing. 8x8 eight eight cubes. So Dengonzo has some ugly yellow teeth that go like this. And I'm going to use this color, because I, I want to. Do you think? Because I want to. Because I want to. The middle ones are one high, though. One high. The ones at the end are two. They're like one and a half, actually. But. Well, it's just the perspective. That's it. So he's got his ugly teeth there. Are you making fun of him because he's not here? No, I'm making fun of him because he's an orc. You really yeah. need to get that 
checked out that racism you got towards orcs. It's not racism. It's dislike. Ness. Ness. Dislike. Isn't it, isn't, isn't it kind of the same thing, though? Uh, six, seven, eight. Not really. I mean, I don't hate all orcs, just Tengonzo. Oh, okay. So it's a personal, personal dislike, then. Yeah. Just kidding. So, who is your favorite miner, viewers? You know. Uh, I thought you were asking me. No, who's your favorite miner, Rastro? My favorite miner has to be Bardock Germs, I believe, because he pulls mo uh, most of the weight. Oh, no. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> In the words of Dengonzo, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Why are those the words of Dengonzo? <laughs> those are yours, know. completely yours. It's actually raining. It's not day or night or whatever. Oh, it's, right. It's actually raining. That's why it's so. I think gloomy. I think maybe for Halloween the the Mojang team have made it so it rains more often or something. Perhaps. Because this is a desert and you can't see the rain, but it rains on and off very often. Yeah, I don't know why, but rain reminds me of Ocarina of Time. But I do know why because. It used to rain in a Korean of time. Yeah, it was like the first game where he played one on. Maybe not the first game where it had rain, but the first 3D game where you actually controlled the rain. Ocarina is one of the best games of all time, I'd say. Now, I don't know if it's because of nostalgia or because it just is one of the best games of all time. Well, I suppose you kind of have to measure games by the time they were released. Because it's not fair. It's a fair disadvantage to rate, let's say, Ocarina of Time to to one of the modern games, because obviously they've got more technology to play with. But you know, the the feel of it at the time of playing, yeah, was revolutionary. Yeah, not not only revolutionary, but you know, I, I don't know. It just felt felt good. immersive. Felt immersive. Yeah. Even though Link doesn't speak a word in the in the actual game, but it still pulled you in. The silent yeah. hero and all that. So yeah, then Gonzo has a emo looking haircut right here. Yep. And that's his head done. Is it not? I think so. So we got one more head to go and that's double F's. But we've run out of run out of Of room. Of room. Nah, just put him here next to Den Gonzo and then we we push this cliff forward. Okay. Let's do that. That's it. We finished Mount Nexmoor, and this time it's for real. We finished Los Taquitos. And that is it. That is it, with the cherry on the top. The Our faces carved on stone for eternity. <laughs> so, yeah. so thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and see you around. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>Jones, what are you doing? We, I thought we said we finished. Um, I'm just putting the cherry on the top, like you said. Mm. Isn't that what we agreed on? It was a proverbial cherry, Jones. On the bottom, then? <laughs>